Mabuhay! I am Director Clifford Cyril Y. Riveral of the Disaster Response Management Bureau of the Department of Social Welfare and Development from the Government of the Philippines. I will be presenting to you the Philippine version of the implementation of the CCCM experience. The Philippines is located at the Pacific Ring of Fire and the Typhoon Belt. It is exposed to several geological and hydrometeorological hazards. These hazards plus human-induced hazards cause massive internal displacement each year. As state actors, it is our primary responsibility to ensure that our internally displaced persons, especially the most vulnerable sectors, are provided with protection and assistance. In 2008, the National Disaster Coordinating Council adopted the cluster system approach. This designated DSWD as the cluster head of the camp coordination and camp management. In 2010, our president, President Benigno Aquino III, signed the Republic Act 10121 or the Philippine Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Act. This law paved the way for the institutionalization of a proactive DRRM approach. In 2013, DSWD led the issuance of the Joint Memorandum Circular on Evacuation Center Coordination and Management, adopting the SPEAR Standards and Global CCCM Toolkit. In 2017, the NDRRMC, through the Response Pillar, issued the National Disaster Response Plan that further adopts the cluster system approach. DSWD remains the lead agency of the CCCM cluster. In 2018, DSWD developed the national training program on CCCM and protection. It was also the same year that DSWD entered into the Empowering National Government Agencies Emergencies Engage project with the International Organization for Migration, or IOM, supported by the United States Agency for International Development, or USAID, Bureau for Humanitarian Assistance. In 2019, DSWD field offices started cascading the NTP for CCCM to the local government units. The partnership between IOM and DSWD enabled the conduct of the series of CCCM training for trainers completed the same year. Furthermore, the CCCM team conducted evacuation center monitoring with local government units to ensure awareness and compliance with standards. The insights gained from previous disaster response operations and consultations with LGUs became our impetus to enhance our policies on CCCM. In 2020, DSWD with support from CCCM member agencies, develop an amendment to the Joint Memorandum Circular on EC Coordination and Management. This new draft incorporates protection, information management, infection prevention, and control measures, and the latest SPEAR standards. The department also issued the CCCM and Protection COVID-19 Operational Guidance to prevent COVID-19 transmission inside camps. Our CCCM localization experience can be summed up in three words, engage, link, and institutionalize. On engaging with multi-level stakeholders, this ranges from seeking the participation of IDPs in camp activities and decision-making to consulting with LGUs, regional office, and national government agencies. We also engage with the civil society organizations and international NGOs such as IOM through a formal agreement with DSWD, cementing a partnership with clear expected outcomes, roles, and responsibilities, and mutual commitments. On linking global CCCM guidelines, frameworks, with existing national, local guidelines and frameworks through consultation workshops coordination, capacity building activities involving other relevant government and non-government stakeholders in the process. We also included linking together the solutions to displacements, information management, and protection for 
proactive and harmonized response strategy. On the last is institutionalizing adopted and localized guidelines into memorandum circulars, national training programs, simulation exercise designs, and local DRRM plans. These guide local government units who act as the first responders or camp administrators, camp coordinators, and camp managers on the ground during providing protection and assistance to our IDPs and ensuring that these follow humanitarian standards and community participation is a continuous effort and advocacy of our department. We always put in mind that as we deliver services to our constituents, we contribute to our overall Philippine DRRM objective, building safer, adaptive, and disaster-resilient Filipino communities towards sustainable development.